they're my television neighbor. It's me, Mr. Roberts. Boys and girls, if you've seen this video with Batman and Robin, the first thing Batman does is he changes what's on the computer screen of his computer. Like, I can't let Robin see this, because Robin would be saying, Batman, why are you watching the Discovery Channel on your computer? Is that animal porn? You sicko! I thought we were best friends. I thought you loved me. And when Robin gets an invitation to Comic-Con, Batman wonders why I didn't get an invitation. And Robin says, it's because you're dark and gloomy, but I'm fun and wonderful. I think Robin says this because for so many years, Robin was the sidekick. While Batman was saving the day, Robin was the one that had to save Batman when he got into trouble. Every single time. And you might be thinking, Comic-Con is the final place where the Super Friends and the Legion of Doom have their final battle. But no, it's a place where Trekkies and Wookiees and Jesus's impersonating Jedis all come together in one place. So Batman goes to Comic-Con looking for Robin. And the first person he asks is Superman. Hey Superman, have you seen Robin? Like Batman's thinking, Superman has superior strength. He could destroy the San Diego Convention Center. But once it's in rubble, I probably still won't be able to find Robin. And so, as Batman is looking for Robin, this is a problem that's plagued Batman and Robin from the beginning. They don't got any superpowers. So what happens to Batman in the Batman movie? He gets attacked by a rubber shark. So without superpowers, what does Robin do? He whips out a can of shark repellent. Like Mr. Roberts is going to need a can of shark repellent the next time he's at the beach, even though he's more likely to get attacked by something other than a shark. So until next time, from Mr. Roberts, goodbye.